Hi, I'm Anthony Martinez, music content director for Rocksmith Plus. Ever since I joined the Rocksmith team 11 years ago, I've been involved with songs. I started out as a note tracker transcribing DLC in 2012, had my band's song Self Trap featured in Rocksmith 2014, before now overseeing the global music team. I got a degree in jazz performance and worked as a guitar teacher for years. Now at Rocksmith, it's been a dream to work so directly with the wide variety of songs that inspired my passion and to share that with a global community who cares just as much. It's that love of music that makes me excited to bring you a big update on the song release plans with a look at what's coming soon. We recently signed new deals with Warner Music Group and Warner Chapel Music, which opened the doors for us to add artists like Linkin Park, Coldplay, Twisted Sister, and Sepultura, just to name a few, with more hits still to come this year, including, for the first time ever in Rocksmith Plus, Green Day, Holy shit, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Paramore, Meshuggah, and Joy Division. Rocksmith Plus is ending the year with a bang, but as a subscription service, we wanna give you incredible value in the present and increasing value with every passing month. We're thrilled by the new lessons, artists, songs, and features, and we're super excited by the all new instrument path of piano. This is only the start, and our work isn't done. We hear you loud and clear. We wish we could add all these songs like that, but it's important for us to respect the rights of artists, labels, and publishers, and make sure that we properly license all the music we feature in Rocksmith Plus. Licensing music from rights holders to use their music has two separate but related components for every song. You need permission to use the sound recording, historically called the master rights, as well as permission to use the musical composition which encompasses the melody, lyrics, arrangement, and structure of a song, usually referred to as the publishing rights. This means that to use a song, you must license both the master and the publishing rights. Now, if you get permission for only the master recording, you wouldn't be able to use it unless the publishing rights were in the public domain, which means that the copyright in that song has expired, and those rights are no longer owned by anyone. On the other hand, if you only have the publishing rights to a song, in many cases you are free to create a cover yourself or license the master recording for a cover of that song. Since the debut of Rocksmith in 2011, we've prided ourselves on only featuring the original master recordings of songs. There's something undeniably special about playing along to and learning from songs as they were originally recorded by the artists themselves. We've carried that tradition on to Rocksmith Plus and now have a library of over 7,500 master recordings. We have always featured different master recordings of the same song in Rocksmith Plus, but we've avoided using typical re-records. One of the main benefits of our new subscription model is that we've been able to grow the library faster than ever which we're incredibly proud of, but we haven't always been able to secure the same catalog and hit songs that we did before, just yet. But with every new licensing agreement, we're introducing exciting new names to the library. Still, we've heard loud and clear that the number one thing that you want to play in Rocksmith Plus is more of the songs that you want to learn. To that end, we've decided to branch out and add more kinds of content to Rocksmith Plus. Starting in December, we'll introduce high quality re-records, instrumentally accurate covers, and our own in-house versions of songs that we haven't yet been able to license on the master side for Rocksmith Plus. While we waited for new licensing agreements to be reached, we realized we were faced with a choice of A, players having no way to learn songs we already have the publishing rights to, versus B, giving players extra options to learn and play different versions of iconic songs. We decided to go with B, the choice that offered Rocksmith Plus subscribers more content that takes full advantage of our publishing agreements. Don't worry, the introduction of these re-records will not be replacing new master recordings of songs that we do have permission to include. And our release plans for the future will still include master recordings, including those artists I mentioned earlier, like Green Day. It also will not replace our efforts to continue to secure deals for the original master recordings of these songs. We're hopeful that we'll also be able to add the original versions in the future. This move represents another way to learn in Rocksmith Plus. 
with the goal of offering more of the exceptional music that players have asked for the most. In selecting or recording these covers, we're applying the same diligence for accuracy in instrumentation that we do for our authentic arrangements now. The covers we include are selected to accurately teach players the skills and techniques to play the famous riffs and solos they love. We think that these quality covers will prepare players to play alongside the originals without missing a beat. Starting things off, the first set of covers and re-records we'll be releasing in December will include hits like Jump, Panama, and Rocket Man, to name a few. These versions of songs will be clearly identified in-app on our online song library page, as well as in future communications to set them apart from original master recordings. And not to worry, our update plans will still feature both master recordings and these new covers. We aren't replacing or moving away from using original versions, which will include some great additions this holiday season. We'll have another video coming soon where we'll explain our updated song release cadence in more detail. Today's news represents new ground for Rocksmith Plus, and we hope you're as excited about it as we are. Just like you, many of us on the team have been hoping for a chance to play those same songs in Rocksmith Plus for years. We're stoked for the opportunity to do that now, while we still aim to get new licensing deals in the future. Remember, for the latest updates on Rocksmith Plus news and the latest song drops, follow us on social media at Rocksmith Plus. Visit our website at rocksmith.com and be sure to check out the featured content on the Rocksmith Plus homepage in-app. You'll definitely want to follow us for regular updates because there's still so much more to come for Rocksmith Plus next year. Rock on!